Hello everyone, and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. In this video, I'll be showing you the best method that I've found for cleaning any type of build surface on an FDM 3D printer. All right, let's get to it. To follow the steps in this video, there are four things you'll need. They should all be things you have around your house, but if not, check the description down below to purchase anything you're missing. First up, you'll need a spray bottle that's either new or has been thoroughly cleaned. I like using these little mini ones because they're easier to store. Second, get a cup of water. This can be cold water, but I would recommend that it's warm. Third, we're going to need some dish soap. I prefer using the Blue Dawn Ultra Liquid Dish Soap, but use whatever you have on hand as long as it says that it cuts grease. And lastly, you'll need either a microfiber cloth or a paper towel. I prefer using the cloth, but use whatever you have on hand. Additionally, unless you're really good at just eyeballing measurements, I'd recommend getting a measuring cup and a half teaspoon measure. Now, I've played around with different ratios and found that I've had the best results when using half a teaspoon of soap per one cup of water. And for anybody using the metric system, that would be 2.5 milliliters of soap per 240 milliliters of water. I'll typically leave this mixture in the bottle for about a month, and then I'll dump it out, wash the bottle pretty good, and then I'll start fresh. Just because I don't want the water in the bottle to get gross after it's been sitting for a while. So for best results, I recommend that you shake the bottle before use, and that you spray it on a bed that's warm. What I like to do is start a print, and then when the bed heats up to about 40 degrees Celsius, I'll spray the cleaner on and get everything wiped down. This causes the water to evaporate really quickly, and all you're left with is a really clean build surface that's going to give you really good adhesion. And this is the cleaning process that I follow for all of my 3D printers, regardless of what type of build surface they have. What I love most about this process is that it's cheap, it's easy, and I have better bed adhesion when using soapy water than I've had with IPA or glass cleaner or anything else that I've tried. Now, real quick, there are two situations where I wouldn't recommend following this method. First, if you're using any kind of tape over your build surface, you wouldn't try to clean that. You would just remove it and apply new tape if it was damaged or if you were having any kind of bed adhesion issues. Second, if you're using anything like glue stick or hairspray or anything to help adhesion like that, it's going to be difficult for you to get your bed completely clean with this method. So instead, I'd recommend taking your build plate off, take it down to your sink, and again, just use some warm water and dish soap. But this time, use the soft side of your sponge. Don't use a Brillo or a uh, dish brush because that risks scratching up the build surface on your build plate. Washing in the sink like this is also not a bad idea if you want to completely rule out any kind of dirt or oils on your bed that could be causing adhesion issues. Now as for when you should clean your build surface, honestly it doesn't hurt to do this before every print especially since this method only takes a few seconds, but if you can't be bothered then cleaning every 3-5 to five prints should be fine. And that's it! In my experience this is the best method that I have found for cleaning any type of build surface on an FDM 3D printer. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you like the work I'm doing here and you want to support my channel, please consider joining my Patreon. You can find links for that down below. Alright, now let's go print something.